We are at the finale of Puyo Puyo Tetris. We are doing challenge. We'll do endless whatever. And we'll change our character too. Is it our turn? Okay. I didn't check uh, the Tetris 99 thing. Alright, let's play. Man. My wrist! Oh my gosh. We did it. Oh, frick. Hi there. No fair. I thought I was on fever. Let's see if this works. Ladies, ladies, they're both beautiful. It's all your fault, eh? What was all that? I think I clicked. It was on fever, though. No. That was really stupid. So, we'll go on solo. We'll do. Versus. No, I don't want to do that. No, I click challenge. Uh, we'll do swap, and we'll do another ten person round. So let me go back down here. Be like right there. Is it our turn? So now that I'm back down here, how y'all doing? Imagine people like. Oh, frick. I might have to be like... Yeah, we might need to do that. But no, I think I was talking about esports last time, about how I wish there was a Tetris League. Dude, every time whenever I'm at esports, there's always someone who brings in freaking, like, McDonald's. I'm just like... I wish I had, like, 10-piece chicken nugget. Mm, now I made you guys hungry. We're having chili tonight, which is pretty good. Plan is. I'm gonna try to build up to all this. Uh, art. Yes, that did not count. I was like, I hope that does not count. No! Don't you guys hate it when, like, you're playing a game, you're just having, like, the best time, and then some people try making it so freaking, like, political, and I'm just like, dude, games are supposed to be like, I don't care about reality. Sure, do that. Alright, yep, that's good. But, like, they always try so freaking hard to make it, like, people try making it so political. And it's like, but that ain't the point of what we're doing. We're here to play games and have fun. There's just, like, no point to it. Like, people don't want to play... People don't want to play uh, the game because it was made by a female. No, it's either because your game sucks or nobody's heard of it. Like, nobody plays my game that I make. Like, if nobody plays my game... Okay, sure. Maybe it sucks. I don't know. Frick. 
And I'm not trying to be a jerk about that at all. Like, I'm just saying... It's just probably because games don't want to be, like, politicized. Uh, kind of stall this all out. And then... But, like, I'm not getting over the fact that people try going... The reason why you don't want to play my game because I'm a female. No? It's not the reason at all. <laughs> of course, there are some idiots that are like that, that say, Oh, I don't want to play your game because it's female man. But those guys are just jerks. I'm not going to lie. Like, but that's not the vast majority. A lot of people who don't play, like... Like, I never played Heavy Rain. I don't know who made Heavy Rain. I don't think it was made by a girl. I mean, it probably was. I, I ain't going to assume. But... When people try making video games all about politics, it just kind of ticks me off. Because, like, I'm just here to have fun with Tetris, dude. Which, I gotta see who originally made Tetris, because I just think that'd be cool if I find out, like... Like, because I hear it's, like, made in Russia. And that's fine. Just, not wrong game. Games are mostly made in Japan. So, it's like, for the most part, it's made in Japan, like... Mario was made in Japan. I don't know. I don't know, though. And I'm going to assume who made Mario by Shigeru Miyamoto, and he's Japanese. Um, but, man, just hate politics and games. Like, I mean, now, get I, I understand if, like, the game has, like, something like um, they have their own politics in. That's fine. That's different, because it's, like, this is what's happening to the characters in the game. But I don't want to hear, like, these people that are, like, like, the same people that think video games are violence or the same people that want to try to put in, like, some kind of, like, politics or something. Or trying to, well, okay, it's probably not the same, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Video games just get major, like, people who try making video games all about politics to push their agenda is kind of dumb. For example... Look, with Life is Strange, yeah, the female character is trans. Cool. Well, wait, is it trans? I, I totally forgot. I don't know. I wanted to get Life is Strange, because I heard Life is Strange is actually, like, from some people, it's like, it's dumb. Some people think it's cool. I never played it. I actually want to try it out. I think it'd be a cool experience just to try out what Life is Strange is like. But then when people cr try to go and say, you shouldn't try playing, um, like, you shouldn't play this game because... There's a transgender character. So what? Who cares? Like, and don't say people don't say that. Because I have no doubt in my mind that there is some jerk who says that crap. But let's not try getting political here. Because I don't want to. They had a gaming channel crying out loud. Ugh. Alright. They were fine on this. Don't you like those parents that... Because I watched this uh, 8-Bit Christmas, I think it's what it's called. Yeah, it was 8-Bit Christmas. Uh, they... They had, like, the part where it's, like, these people going around saying, Stop video game violence because, like, one of the kids kicked down a TV and it came down and crushed a dog. But it's, like... Um, and, but in real life, people actually think that way. People actually think video games causes violence. Even though it doesn't. Like, because for example, video games, like, who buys the video games for their kids? I want, I buy video games for my kids if they want one. Sure. You want to... Like, of course, I make sure, like, they're of age of, like, what the certain game is. Like, I want to just let them play. Um. What? Like, I want to let them play Call of Duty if they're, like, seven or something. Well, but that's, like, the common norm now. Like, oh, my kid wants this Call of Duty game so he can play with his friends. That's fine. He wants to play, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard? Let him. If that's how he wants to spend his time after school, that's wrong 
with that. My kid wants to sit down and, you know, have a good game of Tetris. You should let him. Now, do, do I want my kid to be, like, fully addicted to video games? No. I don't want him just to focus his entire life. Like, with me, I play video games, yeah. But my entire life, like, I try not to focus my entire life on video games. Unless if I'm talking, like, I'm with a friend that I can talk about whatever the frick I want. Yeah, I'll talk about video games or something. Like, I mean, me and my friend talks about our, uh, me and K uh, my friend Caden. We play, we talk about Resident Evil 7 all the time. I mean, not Resident Evil 7, RE8. We like RE8. He never played it, but I have. But, oh, it's so unreal with that whole video games cause violence thing. Because I never seen anyone want to shoot someone in the head or crush them with a block. Or... It's stupid, because, like, they don't understand it. If anything, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, if anything, influencers cause violence sometimes. Like, I mean, with that whole thing with Jake Paul and Logan Paul and the that force incident, you, you know dang well that a kid probably was like, can we go to Japan? If that's where Logan Paul was, and he did this too, oh, well, okay, maybe that's, maybe they probably had, like, their parents go, like, say, can I go see Jake and Logan Paul? Like, cause like, I don't know why I sounded British there, but just like, ah, uh, just so annoying. I don't, I don't get Jake or Logan. Like, uh, I mean, like now I guess they're fine. From what I hear, they're well, okay. What well, from what I hear, Logan's fine. <laughs> I don't know too much about Jake. Here, I want to see how long you can stay alive. Three, two, one. Oh, cool. It's gonna help me go down quicker. But, again, I think it's, like, if anybody causes problems, it's like these stupid influencers and, not all of them, obviously. I'm not, like, one of those guys that are like, oh, all the influencers are bad. Because, like, I don't know. I might be an influencer. I don't know. But, like, people might think I'm trying to say, like, oh, we need to watch out for the children. Because, no, it's, it's not... It's not the YouTuber's responsibility for what they have to do, for like what they have to do to make sure that it's fine for their children audience. But when they know they have a children's audience, like with with SML, last time I was talking about him, I think last time, either last time or the time before, I don't know. But he, like, he knows that his kids are like Logan Paul knew his kids were audience. I mean, Logan. SML knew his kids were, uh, his, uh, audience or kids, but, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm buying a Lamborghini and, okay, but, you know, oh, I'm gonna buy my Lamborghini, keep cussing my videos, age restricted, and again, I am not saying Logan has to watch his lip. But he at least needs to put in a freaking warning. Like, with all my videos on my main channel, I always put not made for kids under 13 and up. Because that's what YouTube's guideline is. And I believe, I follow under it. I go, okay. My videos aren't for kids. If you're a kid, buzz off. I'm not in the mood to get... Like, even though I'm not monetized, I don't want you on my freaking channel. But again, just saying, it's dumb. Just like video games cause violence. No, it's mostly the parents. Because the parents don't want their kids smoking crack and stuff. Keep an eye on them and make sure you monitor what they watch. Not 24-7, but at least monitor them. Like, monitor them. Monitor them and their behavior, who they hang out with. Because they might hang out with a kid who watches freaking, I don't know, night... Not real gnome screws. Ooh. Freaking horror movie or something. And he's like, oh, that's real life. Well, let's go to people's house while they're asleep and suffocate them. They're having a nightmare or something. Sounds stupid like that. But, like, again, kids don't know any better. Kids do stupid stuff. I I technically am still a kid, but whatever. It's just stupid. You gotta learn that not all the problems on video games because... Few kids don't. 
It's just so dumb. But I'm not trying to say anything bad about parents that do actually like take care of their kids. If you don't take care of your kid, what do you? Why do you have a kid? Like I'm meaning it as in like you want a kid, you have a kid, but. Oh, let's not take care of it, because I want to go and... Like, I want to go party and stuff. It's like, why, why'd you have the kid? Just don't get it. But I'm not trying to say anything bad about people. If, like, you can't financially support a kid and you have one, I feel horrible for you. Like... Because, like, I mean, with those parents, you know... you. They probably, like, worked their butt off for that kid. You know, it's like... Okay. Um... I'm gonna go on a little bit longer here. Probably... F five wins. I'm gonna just go up here. Five more wins, and then I'm probably... Oh, well, not five more, but five wins, and I... Actually, I'm kind of getting tired of this. I don't want to go on for too much longer. So probably after this guy, I'm done. And that would be the end of Puyo Puyo Tetris. Fun game! You know, I played on... <laughs> wow, voice crack. Fun game! I played on my spare time all the time. Believe it or not. Oh, friggin... Can't wait till my birthday. It's in a few months, but I'm so excited for it. Jokes on you, check this out. Maybe I can school him out. Oh, there's so not enough time. Oh, and yeah, he's... Nah, I lost. I ain't gonna let you... You win. It's all your fault, eh? I knew I'd win. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Boy Boy Tetris. Next game I'm playing. You guys will see come up soon. Alright, bye.